Hey everybody, welcome to the show. I'm Scott, Flamethrower Grill. Today, baby back ribs. That's right, but this is super simple, easy, hands-free, pretty much, all right? And uh, you know, we're all so busy. I don't have time to be standing by the grill, checking out a smoker, doing all the stuff I normally do when I do the ribs. I am going to go ahead and show you guys how you can make fabulous, I'm fall off the bone, delicious ribs, and not even have to watch it. Now, how, how am I, how, what, what, how am I gonna do that? Well, I'll show you. So here's the magic, folks, hands-free. Crock-pot ribs, baby back. That's what we're gonna do, super simple. How do you like my old crock-pot? <laughs> had it for years. <laughs> I think this is like an 80s design, I don't even know. But in any case, she works wonderful, she's big. You know, I've done this many, many times, and um, success, failures, let me show you how to do it right. So they're fall off the bone, delicious, caramelized, impress your friends, not all soggy and sloppy, like like shredded pulled pork or something. All right, let me show you how I prep this uh, slab of ribs. All right, folks, here we go. Here's my little slab of ribs, okay? Little baby bags. It looks like uh, you know, there's a little fat on here. There's nothing really here I want to trim. Sometimes you might get some, uh, you know, buy some ribs, especially the larger slabs where they have a lot of fat, and you might want to trim some of it off. But keep in mind, what is fat? Fat is flavor. That's right. So I think uh, heck, I'd even like a little bit more. But here's, here's something you want to do. See this little shiny stuff here? This is a membrane. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get rid of this membrane. Why? I'll show you why. I'm going to find a bone. Here's one on the end here. I'm just going to get under there. Try to get that off. Or, okay, get your knife under there. Peel it up a little bit. All right. The best you can. And now, a little secret. I'm going to grab a little piece of uh, paper towel. I'm going to just grab this membrane. See that? Can you see it? Okay. Now, I've been living okay, living right, good with God, I think, and if you do it just well enough, you might get lucky. Oh, there we go. Come on, come on. Oh, it's giving me a little problem on this one edge. Oh, there we go. Okay. But anyway, you want to grab this membrane, and it's super slick and slimy but you can peel it right off. Now I'm getting a little bit here on this upper edge. See, I guess I'm not living that right, am I? <laughs> because it's not coming off. This top edge here. See if I can at least cut through and have it continue from here on anyway. This is not a make or break deal, right? You can leave this on if you like, but it's chewy. And But the other thing is, it hinders any flavors from coming on the back side. Any seasonings you put on top of this membrane, it's basically not going to go through into the meat. And I'm doing a pretty poor job, but I'm getting off. I'm getting the job done. That's all that matters, right? It is coming off. Okay. You know, sometimes it'll pull off pretty easy. There we go. Pretty much done. Okay, nice little slab of ribs, a little piece of meat here. I'm just going to leave that hang. Looks good to me, right? Sorry, right, folks, here we go. Here's how I'm going to season it. First thing, Lowry's. This seasoning salt, it's one of my favorites. It's just, it's just good, period. So we're going to go ahead and put that on there. All right, we're going to coat it. I apologize, I always do this backwards so you can't see what I'm doing. 
All right, we're going to do it the right way now, so you can see. I'm just putting a decent layer on there, nothing too heavy. All right, flip it over. Try to get the edges too if you, you can, all right? A lot of times we forget the edges, man. The, it's the little things. Make a difference, okay? So we got some Lowry's on there, okay? A little bit of garlic powder. I just, you know, I love garlic. You can season this any way you want. But I'm just going to throw a little garlic on there. And you want to know why I also do it? Oh, I just love the smell when it's cooking, especially in a crock pot. Oh, it just smells your, fills your whole house up. And when your family and friends come over, you're literally like, what? That's right. Okay, so now here we go. I'm going to go ahead and take some of this pepper. All right, we're just going to go ahead and coat this, this on there. Let's just go ahead and rub it in. There's also one more thing I'm going to put on here once I get the back side of this done. Did I get the garlic on there? I think I did. Okay. And you can use, like I said, anything you want. Salt, pepper. But this is a simple, I got to get to work, work all day. I'm coming home. I just want to feed the family. We're going to have a special good dinner, and then you do this. All right, put it in the crock pot on low, say eight hours, nine hours. Okay. One other thing. I've got a little smoked paprika from Trader Joe's. This stuff is amazing. It's, it's got such an awesome flavor. Not a lot. I'm just going to, just a little bit. Okay. So a little salt, a little pepper, some garlic powder, paprika. Boom. There you go. So now, here's what we're going to do. Alright folks, so here's the magic. Here's how we're going to do this. We've got the back side, we've got the meaty side. We're going to take the meaty side, stand this up, and it is going to go along the porcelain. Okay? If you lay it all down, and cut it in pieces, lay it down, it just gets too moist and too watery down at the bottom. You don't have to add any moisture, anything to this. Just put it in like that, put the top on, on high. I've got mine on high, three and a half hours. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set my timer in two and a half hours, I'm gonna add a little bit of sauce. If you'd like, set it on low before you go to work or whatever, and about eight hours later, when you get home from work, you put a little sauce on it. But there's something we're going to do once this is done. Okay, folks, we're two and a half hours in. And here we go. Oh, it smells amazing. Look at that. Well, it's, yep, yeah, it's getting uh, it's getting loose. It's getting tender. So here's what we're going to do now. We're going to take some barbecue sauce. You can use whatever you want. Your favorite barbecue sauce. We're just going to drizzle this all over it. This is not the final application. This is just for the next hour. Okay. Trust me. You don't want to just do this and then eat it later. I'm going to try to get it to drizzle down on the inside here a little. You could brush it on if you want. It's not a big deal. But we're just trying to add a little flavor right now. These little bottles run out too quick. Okay. Anyway, that's what we want to do right now. I'm going to lean this back, 
gets them on the inside here. This is not the final application. Keep that in mind. All right, there we go. Do that. We're going to go one more hour. Now, if you do this on low, do the same thing. So after eight hours or so, you're going to go ahead and put this on. Let it sit another hour or so on low. And then you're done. All right, folks, so what we got here is sweet potatoes boiling that's right we're gonna mash them salt pepper butter and cream we're gonna have a little uh, stir-fry asparagus to go with this as well yeah a little bit okay Okay, folks, here's what we're going to do now. It's been two and a half hours. Look at that. Fall off the bone. <laughs> I did that a little too quick, but anyway, they're still in one piece. Well, three pieces, actually. Here's what we're going to do. A little more sweet baby rays. I'm going to put them on the bottom side here. This is the back side where we take the membrane off. Okay, and we're just going to go ahead and Base these things, all right. Cover them. Oh yeah, look at that. Get all the nooks and crannies, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw these in an oven. I'm just gonna use a toaster oven. It's kind of an air fryer oven, but I'm just gonna put it on broil. And we'll put them in there just for a couple minutes. So I'm gonna keep an eye on. Once this stuff starts to caramelize, I'm going to flip them over and do the same thing on the other side. Putting them in there. Well, I missed it. I missed the slot. There we go. Okay. There we are. Broil. few minutes. Going to keep an eye on them. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that, oh yeah, look at that, amazing, huh? Let's do it the other side. 